Hey everybody, it's John Lake Erie Chestnuts here with another edition of questions I'm asked all the time about how to raise chestnuts. This one's going to be, what type of light should I use when I'm growing my chestnuts indoors? I hate to break it to you, and you purists and people that like to spend a bunch of money, I use a shop light. Just a typical shop light. I don't know, these T8 bulbs... T11, T6, who knows? They're whatever, shop light bulbs. And uh, typical, has a couple hangers. If you're gonna use these, you don't wanna be growing your trees for more than a, maybe six or eight weeks, otherwise your trees will get a little leggy. You can buy bulbs that have a little more of a sun uh, spectrum to them, but you can put these right down over the top of the trees, as uh, right over the nuts when you put them in, put them an inch or two above and keep them that way. If you have a couple that grow faster, then if you have two different sets of lights, you can put the fast growing ones, you know, under one light, put the shorter ones. You can, if you use those individual pots, it's easier to move them around. But that's my most common shop light. Uh, there may be, you know, if you're gonna be a professional pot grower or something, that's not gonna work. Uh, we're doing legal growth here for chestnuts, oaks, so forth. This is great for getting that extra month or two. If you live in a northern climate like I do, you can get an extra month or two. Start them in late March, early April. By late May, you're past your frost. You can take them outside, harden them off over a couple weeks, and uh, you get some good healthy trees and you get a little extra growth. Any longer than that, your trees are going to be leggy. They're going to struggle a little. They'll still survive. But if you're anxious to get those trees, uh, those seeds in the ground in February, you're going to be sick of watering trees, keeping them free from fungus, uh, fighting, damping off, and getting really leggy trees. The other uh, light I like to use that I bought a couple years ago, I'll try to get it here for you, is the Hydro Planet. I don't know if you can see that. This light has a panel of eight bulbs. I'll plug it in so you can see how it kind of looks. It has a couple switches here that can give you different lights. Now this light puts off much more heat. If you put this real close like you do the cooler fluorescent lights, you will burn them. So you have to be real careful. This one is more of a professional grow light. I think they're T5s. It's called Hydro Planet. I bought it off of Amazon. So you can get different light. You see this is outside only and this is inside only. So you can let, get a lot of light. There's a good reflector underneath it. Uh, these look like they're T5, 54 watt bulbs, 6,500 Kelvin. So that light uh, looks like that and puts off much more heat. So if you're gonna use this light, keep it farther off the trees. I have found that these trees harden off easier because they're used to heat and they must get more spectrum uh, similar to the sun. They do harden off a little easier, still require a hardening off period, but gets you a little closer to that natural sun. This one costs uh, about 140 bucks, I think, 150 bucks. I can post a link. I don't know if they're still making them, but if it, that link is alive still on Amazon, again, I, I don't get any money out of this. This is just what I happen to have purchased and looked good to me. Uh, so I can feel that heat coming off now. So what type of lights do I use? Pretty much shop lights. If I uh, have some, you know, a little extra money laying around, sometimes I add an additional light, and this is the only one I've added so far. I haven't bought any other professional lights. Does the trick, gets the trees successfully to harden off. Uh, you know, once I get them out, they harden off a little easier. Trees have grown just fine. You can see the orchard. There's probably better ways to do it, but this is just the way I've done it on a budget. I don't want to break the budget here. So... That's my episode of questions I'm asked all the time about how to grow chestnuts. What lights do I use? If you have any questions, post in the comments. If somebody else has an opinion, feel free to place it. Tell me how wrong I am. Tell me how right you are. Give me some thumbs down. Give me some thumbs up. Most of all, subscribe, comment. We appreciate that. Thanks for following us. Remember, if you're not growing, you're dying.